Hi viewers, welcome to Alamo Solution. Today we are going to see about hybrid fuzzy POMP algorithm for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So this is the model created for uh, testing the hybrid fuzzy POMP algorithm for solar PV system. So this model consists of uh, 250 watts PV panel. The open circuit voltage of the panel is 37.3 volt and then voltage in maximum power point is 30.7. Short circuit current is 8.6 amps. The current at maximum power point is 8.15 amps. So this is the PV and IV characteristics of the considered panel. So for 1000 watts per meter square the maximum power is 250 watts. For 800 is 199.9 watts, for 600 is 149.6 watts, for 400 is 98.97, for 200 is 48.37 watts. Okay. So this is a variation of peak power for different irradiation condition of the PV panel. Okay. So this point should be extracted from the PV panel by means of this hybrid fuzzy PY BPT algorithm. So regarding that fuzzy MPPT and the PO MPPT algorithm, so already I explained an early video of my YouTube channel. So you can check my YouTube channel for a, a more detail about the fuzzy MPPT and the PO MPPT algorithm. So this system consists of boost converter. This boost converter is connected in between uh, a load, right? This is a boost converter is connected in between PV panel and a load. Okay. So this boost converter will be act as a, a modulator, power modulator to extract the maximum power from the PA panel. So based upon this MPPT algorithm. Okay. So here you can uh, see that. So this uh, uh, hybrid option we have created here. That means uh, here you can see that this is fuzzy uh, MPPT algorithm. The fuzzy MPPT algorithm receiving the, the PV panel voltage. The PV panel voltage going to be compared with the the reference voltage right so this reference voltage we are going to maintain across the PV panel okay so after comparison of actual PV voltage with the reference voltage it will be processed via fuzzy logic controller the fuzzy logic control will be generate the duty cycle okay so here we have P into MPPT the P into MPPT receiving two inputs the PV panel voltage and current so based upon the PV panel voltage current, we have to calculate change in voltage, change in power. So based upon change in power and change in voltage, that means it won't be compared with the zero. Okay. So based upon this condition, right, we have to increment the uh, duty cycle or decrement the duty cycle in order to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. So here you can see that we are combining the output of a C MPPT and output of P and MPPT. So both will be duty cycle. So here we are going to combine this both duty cycle here by using this addition block. And then here we are taking the average of the duty cycle. Okay. So here we are making that hybrid option. So that means we are going to, uh, that means we are making that, uh, uh, combining that duty cycle of C MPPT with the P PO MPPT. And then here we are taking the average. So here we are, applying the hybrid option here okay and then you can see that uh, we have three manual switch right hybrid selection PO selection fuzzy selection so if suppose we are going to allow this hybrid between this duty cycle right then the switch position should be in the upper position right all manual switch position should be in the upper position okay so then it would be allow this duty cycle to the Pedulum generator and then the pedulum generator to generate the pulse for its IGB to control the boost converter to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. So this is one option, hybrid option in the hybrid fuzzy PO MPPT. And another hybrid option is available in this model. That means here we are using switch, right? Uh, the switch coin be controlled, then that means the switch coin be select the uh, fuzzy MPPT and the PO MPPT. So based upon the change in power condition so here you can uh, here you can see that we are calculating the pv power and then here we are calculating the change in power 
So the change in power going to be compared to 0.1, right? That means the change in power is greater than 0.1. So we are going to allow the PY and PPT. If change in power is less than 0.1, then we are going to allow the Fuzzy and PPT. Okay. So if you want to select this hybrid option, then you got to select the, the manual switch to the down position. Then uh, it going to be processed via this selection switch and then is processed to the that means the signal is given to the PWM generator to generate the pulse for the IGPT to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. Okay. So there are two options in this system that means two hybrid options. So here we are going to explain this hybrid option only right uh, because it will be provide the better result than this this hybrid option. Okay. And also if suppose you want to operate the, the same model with the PV and PPT then just you change this position right this position to down right this manual switch going to be uh, change the position from up position to down position then this model will be operated only in the PY and PPT algorithm if suppose you want to operate this um, system with only for and PPT and then you go to change the manual position that means manual switch position from up to down okay then this system will be operated only in the fuzzy and PPT algorithm okay so based upon the situation, you can switch over the uh, uh, MBPT algorithm from hybrid for CPO to IPO MBPT, hybrid for CMBPT, okay. So just you go to select the manual switch accordingly, okay. So now I'm going to uh, operate the system, okay. Uh, that means uh, I'm going to vary the irradiation of the uh, solar PV uh, from 1000 to 800, 600, 400 for every 0.2 seconds. And then I'm going to uh, touch the system. Okay. So first I'm going to take the result of hybrid uh, fuzzy PO and PPT algorithm. Okay. So I'm going to simulate this model. So here this uh, initially the uh, PO that mean maximum point will be reach around 0.5 seconds. Okay. And also, and also you can see that the variation that means during the variation of irradiation from 1000 watts per meter square 800 so it it will um, uh, extract the maximum power very accurately okay so now i'm going to take the print to figure to comparison so now i'm going to operate the same model with the po and ppt So here you can see that it will be take some time to reach the maximum point and also it have some oscillation more oscillation and uh, uh, it have some transient effect during change in irradiation condition here also you can see that it have more transient and oscillation with PY and BPT. so here you can see that for low irradiation condition it have more transient So here also I'm going to take into figure and then I'm going to compare the So next I'm going to operate the same model with the fuzzy MPPT. So fuzzy also having a lot of transition during that uh, change in irradiation condition. Okay. Next, I'm going to compare the results here. You can see that uh, so this is a result of uh, the blue color is a result of a hybrid for CPU and BPT. So it will reach the maximum point quickly, and also you can see that uh, the PO and BPT will take the long time to reach the maximum point. 
and also you can see that uh, uh, the in fuzzy mbpt output right so you will have some uh, more transition during that uh, initial state but it will um, uh, extract the maximum power quickly when when compared to hybrid but it have more transition right so and also i am going to compare the result of the maximum points so here you can see that the blue color right so that means blue color is the output of hybrid for cpo mbpt so it, it extract the maximum power uh, then the PO MBPT and the uh, PASI MBPT. Okay. So next we have to check the result during uh, variation of irradiation condition. So here we are going to compare. So here you can see that uh, uh, that when transition, right? Transition in the PASI is very, PASI MBPT is very high and also the oscillation in that PO MBPT also very high but the hybrid will be having less transition, right? And also you have to check the, the steady state point during the change in radiation. So here also you can see that right, uh, the fussy, that hybrid fussy PO MBPT, it extract the maximum power than the PO and the normal fussy MBPT algorithm. Okay. And also I am going to lower radiation part here you can, so here you can see that the PO normal fuzzy that means uh, here this is PO so this is uh, fuzzy MBPT yeah. it is having high transition but the hybrid fuzzy PO MBPT is having low transition right and also you can see that steady state point so hybrid fuzzy PO MBPT extract the maximum power then normal PO MBPT and fuzzy MBPT so this is the working of uh, hybrid fuzzy PV MBPT algorithm for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.